All right, Riley. I'm not quite sure about this casting. It's warped as. Look at that. Outside's good. Obviously, it was uh, it was finished properly, but the casting, the variation in thicknesses in both sides. Wow, guys. Hmm, doesn't start. Oh, that's right. The customer, instead of replacing the steering column, start button on the fuse box. Tired of drivers blinding him with high beams, this truck driver installed a powerful flashing light system to teach them a lesson. This car was brought in because the customer complained about a whistling noise while driving. The technician discovered that someone had played a prank by strapping a musical harmonica underneath the car. Goodness gracious. I feel this is not one cabin air filter. I think this is like 10. Nope, this is one. This is one cabin air filter stretched out like an accordion. <laughs> Playing some hella good music with this bad boy. <laughs> oh. So if you if you don't change your cabin air filter and all this buildup happens over time, for one, you're not going to be able to smell anything in your vehicle. You're going to become completely nose blind. You but two, rat you're going to have. Your shit. Well, smell yeah, like this one has a uh, rat nesting all up in there. <laughs> Changing a starter. 2017 Nissan Titan. Yeah, it's under the intake. Now look, I get it. There's a lot of people to put a lot of time and effort into going to school to become an engineer. And that's that's fine. I'm, I'm proud of you. Congratulations. But remember, not everybody in this world is an engineer. Some of us actually have to work on the crap you create. So damn it, do better. Flat repair, tire rotation, and oil change. No other problems. Go ahead and start it. This customer brought their car in because it barely runs and makes a weird sound. The technician discovered that oil was being sucked through the PVC system because the air intake was filled with sunflower seeds. The customer went home happy with two bags full of seeds.
Yo, y'all, check this out. You know I ain't much of a Ford guy, but these new inspection windows on the 22 F-150s are absolutely phenomenal. If you ever need to know if you're low on fluid, you can just poke your head in there and take a look. Before we continue, don't forget to hit the like button. 2020 Accord, all lights on dash. Radar was stolen. Got a damaged connector here. But yeah, we see this uh, a lot in the Tri-State area. This car is from Jersey, although we see them from New York specifically a lot as well. So it's a common issue. There is something we can do about it though. The semi was brought in for brake repair, and the customer didn't mention anything about the broken leaf spring, nor did they want any repairs of it. Customers complaining about a loud noise coming from the front right wheel. All fixed. I won't claim to know the whole safety handbook back to front, but um, this probably. Uh, you gonna say that's a fail? Alors ici, on a un magnifique Saturn Lyon. Even though I don't understand a word of French, I'm sure this guy is amazed by how rusted the Saturn is. La tank à gauche qui est en train de passer à travers. Puis, le meilleur bout, c'est le frame Bluetooth. Ça, c'est une nouvelle technologie pour alléger la carrosserie des voitures. This customer came in to get an OEM trailer hitch. Apparently, he received a ticket for using this custom receiver he made. BF XR6 Turbo, broken tail shaft. It's uh, caused the most damage I've ever seen on one of these when it's broken a shaft. The whole center bearing area is shagged. Bit of a hole in front of the fuel tank area. Snapped the cap, uh, handbrake cable completely. Smashed the exhaust. And the whole floor is distorted as well, among other things. So yeah, this is a bit of a big one. Customer states they went to one of those big corporate shops down the road whose name starts with an M to do a wheel bearing. And now it feels like their wheel's falling off. I think they forgot some bolts. The truck driver was shocked when the fuel light came on and the engine abruptly stopped. He soon discovered that he had lost the tank 1.3 miles back due to cracked fuel tank straps. Customer states my oil light came on. I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but a couple days ago it got really, really loud. Holy shit, bud. Talk about built Ford tough. And that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. 
Don't forget to send us your photos and videos for a chance to be featured in our next one. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.